So let's look at some of those graphic effects in a little bit more detail. The first section is branding and that allows me to bring in my custom logo or a bug into the top corner of the screen. I can also bring in a test card at any time. All of these things can be done live. If I bring in the Sting page, this will bring up the stand Sting that I set up earlier, Master New Media Live Web 2.0 News, and I can bring that in and out with these buttons. I can also create a generic Sting using these little text boxes, and that will create an alternative version, which is very, very easy to do. I can then create a lineup of what's coming on next, and that will create a similar screen for me. So I just put in the different items here, click on in, and then at any point I can do that, I can bring that in live and that will show the viewers exactly what's going to be on the show today. Next you've got what's called the partial which is kind of half the way through the screen. You can create for instance a strap line which will put your name and another caption directly beneath that. So that's really useful for introducing a guest. You can also bring in an over shoulder image and you just have to put the URL of the image in and a caption and that will bring that in on the left of the screen. This is great for bringing in new news items for instance. Finally you can set up a news ticker for your channel and that means you can basically add lots of different items with either a comma or an enter between them and once you've put those in they will scroll along the bottom of the screen kind of like you see on CNN or BBC. So those are the graphic effects that you can add. Now let's have a look at queuing the video and bringing it directly in. What you do is you click on one of the clips that you want to choose and have play next and then you click the queue button. That brings the clip into the center of the screen and will tell you exactly how long the clip is going to be. It tells you how much time there is left of the current playing clip and you can tick or untick this box that says transition to queued when finished so it will automatically go to that next clip. Alternatively you can click on the transition to queued clip at any time, you don't have to wait and it will automatically bring that next clip in for you. So it's really easy to bring in both live cameras and your footage. So here I've got my camera and if I click on queue that brings that camera into the middle so now I'm ready to go live and I can bring myself in at any point by clicking on transition to queued clip. And the same thing would work if I had any number of other guests or other producers. I or they can bring them into the video just like that with the transition and just as quickly we can make a transition to the next clip. So you can really quickly move between these different parts of the video which is excellent. Obviously if you were 24-7 doing that you could get tired pretty quickly and that's where Autopilot comes in. With Autopilot you simply drag and drop the playlists that you've created, the storyboards, and you can then sequence them and put them in whichever order you like. And basically what happens is when you're not directly live you can have the Autopilot play these in sequence. So if you set up enough of them you could go away for the day and your channel will still be broadcasting different content live you can restart the autopilot or pause it at any time so this is a really useful addition for live broadcasters